Well, back in the year 2000, my business partner Dan Tossig and I bought Advocate Capital based here in Nashville, Tennessee. Since then, uh, part of my daily routine as CEO and member of the credit committee is to read the financial statements and tax returns of trial law firms from all over the country. Having done that for so many years, uh, we have built up quite a bit of knowledge here in terms of evaluating and underwriting trial law firms, especially when it comes to financial matters. There's such a lack of business training around the country for trial lawyers, especially, of course, in law school, but also in the continuing legal education programs around the country. There's plenty of content when it comes to legal issues, as there should be, and sometimes even marketing issues, but very little having to do with helping trial lawyers manage their practice, especially when it comes to financial matters. I hope that a reader will take away from the book many useful practical applications. Uh, I have designed the book uh, to be very concise. It's a short book, about 120 pages, and it's organized into three sections. The first section is mainly introduction um, to what a trial law practice does, how it functions, what their unique challenges are. The second section uh, outlines the 10 most common forms of capital that contingent fee law firms use. And then the last section are a couple chapters of recommendations. The first are recommendations generally for a law firm when it comes to financial matters. And the second is a chapter dedicated to giving advice and guidance if a law firm is considering a capital transaction. I certainly have gotten great feedback from many lawyers around the country who I speak with every day uh, telling me that they actually have been able to manage their practice more effectively and get even better results for their clients uh, after having read the book. I also have had feedback from non-lawyers. Uh, an email comes to mind, for example, from a young man in Connecticut who read the book and sent me an email, and he told me that having read the book, he actually learned about what trial lawyers do. He thought they were all greedy sharks, and he learned the truth, uh, which is that they actually help people. I want to give credit to the title, How David Beats Goliath, to my friend and business partner, Dan Tossig. He suggested that title, and I think it's very appropriate because the reality in the uh, civil justice system now is that on the plaintiff's side, you have typically an individual being represented by a small law firm going up against a large corporate defendant or insurance company. I want to mention that I'm donating all the profits from the book, from sales of the book, to the Seventh Amendment Fund. That fund is designed at helping educate the public about their Seventh Amendment rights. The Seventh Amendment is a constitutional amendment that guarantees each of us as a citizen the right to a jury trial in any civil dispute in matters more than $20, so it's very important. The book is easy to get a copy of. You can download it right now to your Kindle, for example. Just go to HowDavidBeatsGoliath.com. That's the website for the book. And there are links on the homepage to connect with the uh, Amazon.com, uh, with Barnes & Noble, and also iTunes to pick up a copy in print, again, or on the Kindle.